Good afternoon, everybody calling here with AppReviews.com. And today I'm going to be an app, reviewing an app called Smart Reporter. Um, this is the trial version, but the only difference between the trial version and the full version is that the trial version will not send you notifications uh, through email and um, on-screen on notifications. I'm just going to go through what this app does um, and uh, show you some different features of the app. Um, it is available in the App Store. I think it's $4.99. I'm pretty sure it's $4.99. Um, so it checks the smart status of your disk, um, which if you don't know, we'll pull it up real quick so you can see what it is. Smart is, um, self-monitoring, um, and reporting technology. Self-monitoring analysis is an important technology. Um, and it's something hard drives have, um, modern hard drives have. And um, what it does, it'll check and see if you it can detect um, any failures that could happen within your disk, um, stuff like that. If it detects that something could be starting to go wrong with your disk, um, it can warn you of a failure that may um, occur soon. Um, I/O errors, which is the input/output um, cables and stuff like that on your computer of the disk. Um, RAID, I don't have any RAID set up on my Mac Pro, so that's not on. And then disk space, which is how much remaining space is on your disk, and then you have settings right here. Um, you can see down here, the icon, this part has a green check mark by it, which means that it is okay. Um, a, a yellow exclamation point would mean warning, and a red X would mean there's an error. And you can also change those, as you can see, it just changed down there. Um, you can also have a whole bunch of different options for these, like little LEDs and uh, stuff like that. I just keep mine as the disk. Um, and as you can see, it did check the disk. Um, if you go up here, you can see it says smart check 1515, which is a, you know military time. Um, so that would have been, I think 315 is what that was. Um, it checked all three disks and it says all three disks okay. And it did a, um, it did an IO uh, check 20 minutes later, all three disks were okay. And it also did a disk space check um, 20, min 20 minutes after the smart check. I did it along with the I.O. check and all three disks had plenty of space. And you can set right here when it'll warn you. Um, like how many, how much percentage is free. So like if I do 90% free, um, you can't put 90%. Um, we can do a C, we'll try 60. That way we can just try to trigger a warning. I don't think we we're going to be able to trigger a warning. Actually, 55 might have done it. Oops, that was 55 minutes. We don't want that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to. Uh, we're not going to be able to get a trigger a warning right now. Um. So I'm not going to be able to do that. But as you can see, it does say they are all okay. If you did have a warning, those would be the appropriate colors for either warning or error. Um. And then as you can see right here, you have your settings and logs and stuff like that. It did check um, right here. And you see it says no uh, status check boot disk, okay, no failure predicted. And it checks all those and stuff like that. So it is a great app that will, can help you save data. Um, if you see it, that it goes to warning, you need to back up your data immediately. And you probably should go ahead and replace your drive. Um, but it is a great app. If you have a lot of important stuff on your computer, you should always back it up anyway, all the time. Uh, no matter whether you have an SSD or a standard hard drive, um, you need to keep your data backed up because it could fail at any time. Um, like my hard drive could shut down right now and this wouldn't even tell me. Um, this can't tell you that it's getting ready to fail all the time. Um, things can go wrong and it just fails at any time randomly. It just happens right away. Um, and getting your data back could be impossible. It could cost thousands of dollars. So it's just important to keep your data backed up on another drive. You spend 50 to 100 bucks, you put another drive in there and you transfer it back and then you keep it backed up on the second drive still. So you always wanna have your data on two or more drives. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for something to help you monitor your hard drives, I would recommend checking out Smart Reporter. Um, when I get my Windows computer back up and running, um, after I put it to the new case that's coming tomorrow, um, Wednesday, Maybe I'll try to find a Windows application for this and I'll review that. Um, so make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe. 
Have a great day. This has been Colin with iOperreviews.com.